welcome back. I know, I know, I said, I promised that I would be showing you guys how to install the spark plugs on your 2015 WRX. I got that video done, but I have some issues that I need to work out with the video that, and that should be the next video coming up after this. The install we're gonna be doing today is the Perian Turbo Sump Restrictor. I know a lot of people complain with uh, the smell of burning oil. So that's the reason I purchased the Perian Turbo Sump Restrictor. Here is the Turbo Sump Restrictor. Got this from Import Image Racing. Dude, those guys are legit. If you ever wanna find better prices, I suggest going to them and they usually offer somewhat better prices. But um, here's the Turbo Sump Restrictor for the 2015 WRX. Perian states, like I said earlier, that this will help from that burning oil smell and reduce from, I believe, uh, not fumes, but smoke coming back out of your cab back or your exhaust, um, blue smoke. I know for sure I have issues with that burning oil smell. I don't know if any of you guys do for stage two. That's why I bought this. It's about, I think I paid 32 bucks on import image racing. We're gonna start off by removing the intake vent to your air box and then we'll go into cutting away at your turbo sump hose so you're going to want to remove the vent to your air box and then of course get to that turbo sump vent hose and i'm going to use some scissors to cut that hose all right so hopefully you guys can get a good picture at what i'm looking at I got a metallic sharpie so I can mark off where the two inches of my cut, scissors, and a ruler so I could gauge two inches off of that turbo sump vent hose. It will be this hose here, this line. So it connects here. I'm going to start where the actual metal portion of that line ends. So I might just be making this harder on myself. I don't want to F up. You're also going to want to make sure that your engine is cooled down because if that craft is super hot, you're going to be burning your knuckles, your fingers, and yeah, it's probably going to be a crappy day. You're going to notice that the restrictor is going to have an arrow pointing up. I believe this cap is supposed to work in conjunction with Perrin's air oil separator. I don't have their air oil separator. I do have an IEG air oil separator. So I don't believe I have to implement that. However, we'll keep this capped off. When you install this turbo sump restrictor, you're going to want this arrow pointed up. So it'll be facing with the Perrin logo facing up when you install this. Let's take that out. And we're gonna wanna make sure we have this clamp already ready to, well, already ready to get fully clamped onto the turbo sump vent hose. So we're gonna want one oriented above the uh, restrictor. And then we're gonna have to cut a little bit more so we can join the uh, turbo restrictor to the vent hose. All right, so like I said, you're gonna want that Perrin logo facing up when you install this turbo sump restrictor. All right, so now that I got that piece threaded in, I'm going to have to cut an excess into this line, maybe up to here, maybe about a half inch or an inch more of that turbo sump hose I'm going to cut into and then put it all together with the restrictor. So yeah, let's get to doing that.
now that that's done hopefully I can get you guys a, a, a review and update on how the smell of my engine bay or this if I have any strong oil smells at all anymore other than that guys that's gonna be it purchase this parent turbo sump restrictor if you guys have stage 2 WRX and like I said I'll do a review see if it has any benefits on the vehicle so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video please like subscribe and give me some comments tell me what I can improve on tell me what you guys would like to see I've been thinking of doing a build breakdown on my car it's nothing too crazy pretty pretty much close to stock just a little fun performance mods that uh, get the car up and moving I'll see you guys next time you guys stay classy Thank you.